Is a new WWE title being revealed tonight? We'll talk about it. Plus, a major Impact Wrestling star's contract is expiring and a top SmackDown star is undergoing surgery. It's all in the wrestling news right now. Not since the days when I worked at Moss Bros have I been as excited as I am about the arrival of a new belt. Some hardware possibly popping up on SmackDown tonight. Seems that way. According to a report from Fightful Select, uh, they've reported there could be a special centerpiece during Roman Reigns' 1,000-day celebration on SmackDown tonight. Uh, They were told that there were memos that mentioned new WWE Universal Championship on it. There is set to be a podium where the new WWE Universal Championship would be unveiled to the world. So this is very, very exciting, isn't it? We all Mm. like a new belt, something, uh, something to get excited about um i'm confused tom why i'm i'm, I'm confused why um, annie lennox are they replacing one of the belts are they replacing both of the belts and making them into one belt i don't know what the hell is going on with these yes. right and, yeah right <laughs> and nobody ever seems to be able to properly explain so please school me in the comments i okay. beg of you right I what th- what is what is going on? Okay, I think I know. Does the WWE title exist anymore? Yes and no. Does the Universal title exist anymore? No and yes. It's the WWE the Undisputed Zodiac. Universal Championship, right? Well, the thing is, it's not undisputed anymore. And that's probably why they're changing it. It's not undisputed anymore. Because what? we have a World Heavyweight Champion on Raw. Oh. So no, it's now disputed. Okay. So, there, so, so are they replacing okay. one half of the belts here? Here's what I which think is it, one title. Here is two what belts, I think is happening. But they're not belts. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call them belts. It's not Moss Bros. Uh, here's what I think is happening. You're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. I don't think I like it. But here's what I think is happening. I think from now on, it's just going to be the WWE Universal Championship. I think the WWE title lineage is being merged into the Universal title lineage and it's taking the name of the Universal title. I don't. I told you you wouldn't be happy. It's the stupidest thing. Why? It's their most prestigious belt. It's, but it's, it still it's the is. basis of the company. It is, but... Come on, it's stupid. That's stupid. If that's the case, that's ridiculous. I made a point. Okay. celebrated we- WWE champions. They're so keen to get the branding out. And there's the WWE Universal Championship. Like, that's always been the big belt. Let's face it, right? You had Big True. Goldie there and everything. You got a new Big Goldie. It's always been about the WWE title. And you're stupid if you say it, it, it isn't. And it, 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 come on. I'm just calling it what I think they're doing. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's I am fine. playing devil's avocado. You avoc- said why? I'm playing devil's avocado. Right. Uh, right. And, and I think that's why. I so, think that's what's happening. I don't think it's the... So I, we're I, getting a new a new belt to replace the two tonight? A new belt. The rep, I think we're getting a new belt that replaces the two, and it simply becomes the WWE Universal Championship. Right. But I don't like it, but I'm going to have to go along with it. We'll see. Maybe they'll explain it tonight. Maybe. They probably won't. I, I haven't, right, this is my then, job, then right? we've got three belts This, this is my job. I'm I'm questioning everything here. I have I have no idea what's going on. What what does the casual viewer think? Maybe they don't think. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. It's early. No, I, I hear no, I hear you. The passion I, I have that same passion for like the, the, the lineage of the WWE Uni- WWE Championship. Like that's the that's the main belt. Forever will be the main belt. And and there is and whilst there is away from the, the lineage and the heritage, there is something to be said for having a world title and a universal title. As that is a thing. There's something to be said for that, rather than a world title and a WWE title. Uh, heritage aside, aesthetics aside, kind of get it. Sure. Uh-huh. I hate the name. I, just, I, I never like the universal title name. I think no. it sounds tacky. It sounds like a toy. I like World Heavyweight and I like WWE Champion. I think they're different enough. Uh, Who knows? They yeah. might. They might completely do away with the universal title and make Roman Reigns the WWE Champion. But I feel like Roman Reigns being the WWE Universal Champion is so entrenched in his brand because it's the thousand days because it's thousand days as universal champion yeah uh, unless they go after a thousand days we're now merging that legacy with the WWE title he will forever be the universal champion because it'll be merged into the legacy of the WWE title should we do the next story I want to wear belts some more <laughs> uh, here's a man that could hold five minutes oh, well, in well, sorry <laughs> well good luck because I hey Roman can have whatever call that belt whatever he wants because if this guy rocks up he's done for whose impact contract is expiring Adam That's right. (laughs) 
Tugboat. Tugboat. Uh, he's on his way to uh, Moose. Uh, Moose's contract set to expire in June. Uh, so now, basically. Well, yeah, we're set days, to weeks, well, whatever. Yeah, set to expire now, basically. How exciting. Um, Moose was uh, set to hit the free agency scene in the summer of 2021. Impact Wrestling re-signed him uh, for, I guess, two years. Uh, so it's it's uh, it's time. It, is, it could very well be time. Now, WWE have flirted with Moose before. Not on Tinder or anything, but they have shown a keen interest in Moose. Uh, where it was back in the days where Canyon Seaman was running things in the, uh, in, the in that department of WWE. Mm. Seaman was all over Moose. Yeah. He was really keen for him to come in and be part of the company. Hot uh, load of work he did. Hot really load of work Seaman did all over Moose. However, um, Vince McMahon wasn't completely sold. He was dragging his feet a little bit. In the same way that you, you know, you take ages to get around to doing that job you don't want to do, mm -hmm. you know, the gutter in, uh, it's retiling the bathroom, hire Moose. Uh, so it's kind of given the suggestion that maybe Vince isn't as completely sold on Moose as some of the people within WWE are. He's sort of, he's, 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 like sort of guy. Guy. he's a big guy, isn't he? Let's, let's face it, he's a big guy. Um, his in-ring work has improved so, yeah. so much, like since we started watching, he was over for WCPW as well. Uh, and he was he was pretty decent back then. He could do some big like athletic stuff for, for a guy of his size. Um, but now you watch him, he's he's a different beast, a different moose, if you will. Um, obviously, various issues um, have present, prevented WWE from re-signing him before. It feels like it might be now or never. I don't know how old Moose is, mm. but um, he's been on the scene for quite a while. Um, I, I imagine they'd want to sign him sooner rather than later, and, especially after all this time. And get him straight on the main roster. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, right, that, was the one, so? that was the one big push was when they were looking to get him in in 2021 was to get him straight onto the main roster. And uh, I think they'd have to now, like you say, because he's been around for a while. Let's get him in there. Mm -hmm. It makes some magic. Uh, Slammiversary is around the corner, July 15th. Uh, it'll be uh, Impact Wrestling's feature event of the year. First match already announced for it. Absolutely. Last night it was announced that Deonna Perrazzo will defend her Impact Knockouts Championship against none other than the former Naomi Trinity Fatu. Um, I feel a bit bad for uh, Deonna Perrazzo here, but they would be daft not to put the belt on Naomi straight away. Uh, Sorry, Trinity, straight away. Get all the eyes on the product. Just make a bigger deal as possible. It's just like nothing against Deonna Perrazzo. I think she's class, but as far as pushing your company's image goes, you should just put it on Trinity. Well, we know that uh, Trinity is booked with Impact, which she put out a thing, I think, last month when she revealed all her dates for Impact, all the events that she'd be doing. Mm. She was booked as far as Slammiversary Fallout. Now, not to oh. say that she wasn't booked for anything beyond that, you know, because you can fit so much in a, in a, in a picture on Twitter. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, man. A picture on Twitter. A picture on the old Twitter. On that old, a bit, a, a dot bump. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where a JPEG is. I just want a picture of a goddamn hot dog. Uh, but it was, I, so not to say that he won't be around, uh, she won't be around after. Yeah. Um, but maybe it's a, it's a short run and then she's off to do something else. I didn't realise. There you go. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's it. Put, put over Dion the the yeah, they were. She's not sticking around. <laughs> is Clowns. She, she, <laughs> what are you thinking? What was wrestling thinking? Now, I think that I... If she ends up sticking, if, if she signed a longer term deal, I think they'll put the belt on her. Agreed. I didn't realise so. that. Well, there you go. Um, bit of a rumour killer based on Seth Rollins. So we talked about this earlier in the week on the news. Uh, Seth apparently had his match first with AJ because he was leaving Saudi Arabia early after Night of Champions. Yeah. During Night of Champions. And but the, the rumour killer is that he's not actually an architect. It says here he's never <laughs> studied or anything. No, he didn't leave early. It's not true. <laughs> apparently it's bollocks, isn't it? I like the idea. All right, Seth. Um, oh, God. I'm, uh, go. <laughs> I'm looking to add a conservatory to my uh, house. Why Any is chance the West Midlands calling? What's this about? All right, Seth. Any chance you could come over and uh, measure up? Davenport, isn't he? <laughs> Don't know who lives there now. Orlando, probably. <laughs> right, Fightful Select said, contrary to online speculation, Seth Rollins was never scheduled to leave Saudi Arabia early. He finished filming for his movie ahead of the show. He's got a, he's got a job put in a garden shed up in Dudley. <laughs> so stop slagging him off, all right? <laughs> He didn't leave early. You, you know, His you, heart's in it. You know oh, how, come on, you, Tom. You know how builders go... Are you having a laugh? When they're, when they're looking at us, they'll go... <laughs> to Seth go... Oh... oh. <laughs> And our final Fine story. Uh, we'll send some best wishes to Braun Strowman. Now, Strowman was uh, taken out of action, it seems, 
uh, uh, last week. We've seen Ricochet without Braun on SmackDown, and there were some suggestions of an undisclosed injury. What's the latest on that? Well, according to PW Insider, it looks like he might require surgery. They said um, Strowman is currently out with an undisclosed injury. There was a belief that he might require surgery. He was spotted in Birmingham, Alabama yesterday. What's significant about that? Well, Birmingham, Alabama is where all the sports mm, science mm, places mm. are. Anybody that's that's had a pretty bad ding, uh, WWE will send them to Birmingham, Alabama. We've had we've heard from Robert Roode, who's been there recently, having neck fusion surgery. Uh, pretty much every major WWE talent who's had that major surgery, like your Steve Austin's and Al, your Triple H's, that they go to Birmingham, Alabama. So if you've got a ticket to Birmingham, Birmingham, then chances are you're in for some surgery. So get well soon, Braun. I've liked his stuff with Ricochet. I felt like they could surely do more with Braun. I felt like they didn't quite commit completely to the Ricochet thing. Uh, I don't know whether they yeah, needed matching I mean, they outfits. They put the straps on them or anything. Um, I don't know. No, I think that was part of their thing because they were so different. You want to want to put put them in matching leotards or something. Oh. Um, I, I just thought, I thought it was great. I thought there was some really innovative offense and stuff that they did there. Just some fun stuff. And it was funny because Braun was a bell end, wasn't he? And it was a punishment for being a bell end. Uh, but actually, it was sort of quite enjoyable on TV. I thought I, I feel a bit bad for Ricochet because he's going to be maybe back to doing not he a became lot. A, he became, yeah. Well, hopefully it'll it'll allow him to to shine a little bit more. But we'll we'll see, we'll see. But Braun get well soon. Hey, since he's going to have some downtime, maybe it might line up well, and he might get to to babysit Alexa Bliss's newborn team, Little Big reunited. Yeah, you I know, mean, I wouldn't trust my kid with Braun. <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> what, a, what a dream. We'll have more wrestling news throughout the day at cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.